<laughs> welcome to Jerry's Fish Room. All right, guys, welcome back to Jerry's Fish Room. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you to all of you that have supported this channel by subscribing, by watching these videos, by leaving comments. Uh, we are growing, and I'm excited about it. Uh, again, the goal is 500 subscribers by July, uh, which would be my one-year anniversary of being a YouTube channel. So, guys, we're here this week uh, for a very fun uh, reveal. Um, I'll give you just a bit of a preface. We will not be doing an unboxing. Uh, unfortunately, um, while I will be showing you new additions to the fish room, we had a bit of an emergency uh, this week. So when my fish got here, uh, I was at work. My wife was home. And so typically the plan is she'll open it up, check it out, make sure everything's okay. And then everything being okay, uh, I come home a couple hours, three hours later, and we go ahead and uh, start the process. But unfortunately, we had a bit of an emergency, so um, we'll get into that uh, shortly. And so I was not able to do a real unboxing, so I'm just going to do a reveal. I'll talk a little bit about what happened. Uh, just uh, again, um, just a little bit of a crazy uh, situation, something that uh, was uh, unexpected and not something that um, happens on a regular occasion. So. With that being said, guys, let's go check out the new additions to the fish room. All right, guys, so here's the new addition to the fish room. Uh, this is the 29-gallon dirty tank uh, that I had set up uh, for these coming uh, angels that I received from Consolidated Fish Farms, my channel sponsor. So big shout-out to Dan Connor. Thank you so much for these fish. Uh, in helping me get these things here and kind of making this project uh, a bit of a reality. Uh, so you all seen in a earlier video, which I'll uh, post a link to in the description, um, that uh, how I built this tank and how I planted it and got everything set up. Uh, but now we have its inhabitants are here. Uh, so in here we have uh, three beautiful adult uh, angels. Um, they, two of them are called double black angels, and one of them is actually a gold pearl scale. Um, I'll try to zoom in and talk a little bit more about that fish, but if you can see, uh, they're a bit skittish right now. Um, that pearl scale, you can see it kind of uh, has a glittery, shiny look to it, and that is because... Um, those are actually scales that have a deformity. So um, this is a, a trait that is in uh, angelfish that is very recessive gene. Uh, comes out, um, and based on what Dan and Consolidated Fish Farms told me, it's about one out of every hundred fish uh, are born with uh, this recessive gene and uh, gives you that pearl scale. Uh, shiny look. Um, it is not specific to any particular color or type of angelfish. It is um, just a bit of an anomaly that happens um, in the angelfish uh, breeding. And so you can get gold pearl scales, you can get double black pearl scales, you can get silver pearl scales, uh, you can get um, you know the um, platinum pearl scales. So it's not specific to a particular type of angelfish. So um, right now I have three. Um, the problem was the emergency, I will talk really briefly about it, um, was there were four. Uh, so you would ask what happened to the other one, and it is a um, pretty much a dead on arrival situation. Um, what happened was uh, this is not the fault of, uh, the shipper, um, you know, Consolidated Fish Farms, uh, man, he shipped this stuff up. It was double bagged with very, very, very thick uh, plastic bags, double double bagged. And um, they were shipped inside a box which contained a styrofoam container uh, and had some, um, I guess, heat packs in it as well. Uh, my wife is the one that opened up the tank, uh, the box, 
And what she noticed was one of the bags of fish uh, that had one of the fish in it um, had drained out of water. Um, and so uh, after researching it, what, what essence happened was uh, we thought it was a DOA. Uh, we realized when we, she looked at it that um, it did still was still breathing. So we floated it, got it in the tank. Um, again, there was very little water in the bag got it in the tank, and um, it just immediately went to swimming, um, basically floating on its side. Uh, so I took it out of the tank, put it into a, uh, a quarantine tank, um, and just tried to revive it, put some uh, um, aquarium uh, stress coat, API stress coat in it, and um, some a little bit, just lightly bit of aquarium salt to try to help... Uh, you know, just de-stress the fish uh, with an air stone, uh, but it did not make it. This was, again, I can tell you, was not the fit. Uh, it was just a freak accident. So what happened that we believe is that these angelfish, when they get to be this size, uh, this doesn't happen when they ship you the smaller angels, uh, when um, you get those because they're so small, there's so much room in the bag, um, and these bags were very, very big, but if anything startled the fish, if it was mishandled um, by the shipping company itself or it got startled in some way, what ended up happening was these long fins um, contained barbs in them. And what appeared to happen when I examined the bag, ran the bag through a water test, uh, there were two to three pinholes in the bag it went through both bags so um, the best thing that I can um, estimate is that the fish got startled it was in a just a, a weird position and it was able when it flailed around inside the bag was able to um, uh, puncture the bag and unfortunately the water drained out so um, Dan's going to send me another fish. Uh, again, let me reassure you, this is not a Dan consolidated fish farm problem. This is just a freak accident. This doesn't happen on a regular basis. But I can promise you, if there's some kind of a freak thing that goes on, he's going to get it taken care of. Uh, so he's going to send me actually another fish because uh, we're trying to uh, pair them off. So uh, the whole purpose of this tank is it's a you know it's an elaborate looking tank naturally I got it all set up with some plants and 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 that and I'll have four four angels ultimately in here but the goal is to pair them off uh, hopefully I'll get at least one pair and then once I do um, I'm going to start breeding uh, for my local fish store uh, my local fish store community aquatics uh, in Deland Florida uh, he has uh, or had three local breeders of angelfish that he was uh, buying from and two of those three are getting out of the angelfish business uh, and they're going to do some other type of fish for breeding and so I'm going to jump in and try to fill some of that uh, void and get some angels going and get some breeding going and we'll see where it goes um, now I know they they lay lots of eggs and I could have a lot of uh, fry uh, so you know, we'll, uh, we'll maintain that. I probably will um, continue to keep the egg, uh, the slate in or whatever I use for them to lay eggs on. And then just periodically I may just decide not to, um, you know, bring those uh, fry about. Just, just get rid of the eggs and uh, that way they can keep doing their natural thing. Uh, and my understanding is, is they will, once started and I pull the eggs out, um, they will uh, breed every two weeks. So, um, guys, I just uh, would love to hear from you all with the experience that you've had with angels. I've had a couple in the past, but I've really not gotten into them too much. Uh, but um, you know, this is a whole new um, a whole new project for me. And as you can see, let me zoom in, man. That um, pearl scale is just he is just uh, stellar. I mean the the way the light reflects off of those uh, scales is just absolutely um, breathtaking, to be honest with you. 
Um, one of the cool things I noticed too when I've got them in here is that they, um, you know, it's just something about these types of fish that uh, is very peaceful. When I sit down and watch the tank, um, because all they do is kind of, it looks like they're floating in air. Um, it's just, it's just very tranquil, very peaceful uh, to see these fish. So I had to start out uh, feeding them some blood worms, as you know. For um, most uh, fish, uh, blood worms is pretty much a go-to staple. Uh, if they don't eat blood worms, then we got to look at a problem, um, disease, or whatever. Uh, and these guys got, gobbled them all up, and uh, now I have them on the extreme uh, crave flakes, uh, which is a mixture of krill and spirulina, and they're doing very, very well. And then I give them a, a treat every couple days of. Um, some more blood worms. So, um, guys, I'm excited. I'm stoked. One thing you'll notice is the back of the tank. You'll see the light switches there. Uh, this tank, if you remember when I set this up, I had put the uh, uh, Velamax on the back. Um, and then naturally, of course, um, you got double blacks against the black background. Not very good. It was actually kind of funny. When I first put them in the tank, I had still had the Velamax on there and no lights, and I looked desperately hard in this tank from the front, and I could not see those fish. They blended in so well with that background. I ended up having to come over on an angle looking down the side to be able to stay, see them. they were in there. So I decided to pull out the... Uh, the black Velamax off the back. Um, yeah, I got that green wall or whatever back there, so... It's all looking good. I'm really stoked about this. Uh, guys, let me know in the comments what you think about them. Uh, let me know of your experiences with them. Uh, I do plan on, we'll scroll over here. Um, you can tell uh, this tank is a little lighter stocked. Um, I moved uh, four of the fish out of here. Uh, two of the Jack Dempsey's, two of the Green Terrors are now in the 120 gallon south american tank and when i do a fish room update we'll show you them uh there is one of the larger jack dempsey's who some reason got beat up i don't know what happened but he got a good good gash on the top of his head so he is out in the other part of the fish room the garage uh in a quarantine tank i've got him on some meds and we're going to try to treat him and bring him back but the reason why i show you this tank is i am going to break this tank down eventually uh, and we're going to go and make this a dirted aquarium as well. And then I've decided that um, I'm going to make this an angel and electric blue Acara tank. So that is one of the, the, the new projects that's coming up, and I'm looking forward to it. Uh, and so since I'm still here in this fish room, we'll just give you a quick shot. Sorry for the glare with the, the blinds, but there's a quick shot of my Africans. Everybody's doing well. And... Uh, Let's go have that announcement. All right, guys. So hopefully you love the videos of that angelfish, those angelfish that we got in. They're amazing. They're outstanding. Uh, if you're interested in those types of angelfish uh, or many other different types of fish, I want to challenge you. Check out my sponsor, Consolidated Fish Farms, uh, who's come along this channel. He's helping me with some of these projects. And, uh, man, would absolutely... Just love it. If you could go check his, his stuff out. One of the things that I, I shared last week as I announced him as a channel sponsor, his shipping is out of this world. What he does is he charges $15 for anywhere if you live in the state of Florida. If you are in the continental United States, $25 is the most you will pay for shipping. It is mind-blowing. I have looked at a lot of places to get fish shipped from out of state and I'm paying 30, 40, 50, sometimes $60 in shipping. Uh, he will get them to you for 25 bucks and I promise you, if there's a problem, he will take care of you. Uh, you know, again, it was kind of a tragic thing this week where I lost one of those that came in. That was not anything he did, man. Those fish were double bagged in a styrofoam container as they bagged separately, uh, you know, it just blew me away that the plastic bags, as thick as they were, 
absolutely somehow got a hole in it. And again, it was a freak accident uh, from the spine or whatever you want to call it, the barb of the angelfish poking a couple of holes through there. Uh, the fish just must have been totally flipped out for some reason. I don't know. The box didn't look damaged, but, you know, you get pushed around, nudged around. They're totally in the dark. Uh, anything could have happened, but, man, that was not a consolidated fish farms problem. And even though he sent me those for a fish and one of them didn't make it, he is, like, jumping all over and he's going to take care of the problem and get me another fish. So, uh, guys, go check out his channel. I have a link in the description for Consolidated Fish Farms. Use that link and use the code Jerry's Fish Room and you will receive 10% off of your purchase. Uh, so, man, you can't go wrong. You can get some really, really cool, awesome looking fish and you get 10% off of it and it's the cheapest shipping I know for uh, buying fish online. So, go check them out. Also, if you're interested, JCMP lights um, and other aquarium products. I have a link in the description for JCMP. Uh, just absolutely uh, amazing equipment. If you go there, check their equipment out, use my link, uh, you'll help support the channel as well. So now guys, I have two big announcements to make. Um, so what an awesome video. It's been great, brand new uh, fish to the fish room. Uh, which is exciting enough, but uh, here's the first of the two. I finally, finally have a logo for my channel. And so, guys, um, if you're interested, uh, one way you can support the channel is to go to the link in the description, the Teespring account. Um, I've got T-shirts. I have hoodies. I have um, mugs. And then I'll probably add some more products uh as we go but those are available now here is the fish logo the fish room logo reveal guys I can't thank my pastor who's the one that created this logo for me I am totally stoked over it uh, you can now own a t-shirt this is from Teespring uh, with this logo on it, it's got the catchphrase that I always use, keep loving the fish. Uh, but I also put that so when you're walking away from people, you can constantly remind them, keep loving the fish. And uh, so guys, go check out this um, great pro uh, product. I'm excited about it. Again, it's another way you can help support the channel. Uh, greatly appreciate it if you guys do. Um, here's a sample mug that I got. Hopefully it's not coming in blurry. Uh, you can get mugs, you can get t-shirts, and uh, just another great way to help support the channel, help me do more projects. So, bonus announcement. Uh, my buddy Ben kind of let it out of the bag or on Saturday um, at uh, the live stream, but yours truly is going to Nashville, May 12th through the 16th. I'm going to go and chill out with my good friend Ben Ochart. Uh, we're going to go up there on a Thursday. On a Friday, Ben and I are going to Glass Cages. That's right. Yep. We're going to check out Glass Cages. I am stoked. I know Ben did a video. Uh, ben just got a 300 gallon tank from them. Uh, and uh, I am so stoked and so looking forward to going and checking out their uh, facility, how they build their aquariums, and uh, yeah, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, I'll be able to work out a deal on a new tank. I'm looking to replace the 120 that's in my front room uh, with something similar, uh, but a little different. That, that tank is older tank, and it will have to be resealed, but uh, for me, I just want to go ahead and get one of those awesome looking glass cages show tanks. So I am totally stoked. Uh, looking forward to going up and meeting Joe and uh, everybody at Glass Cages. And uh, then the second thing I'm going to be doing is, yep, yours truly, going to be on a live stream with Ben Ochart on Saturday, May 14th at 11 o'clock Central Time, 12 o'clock Eastern Time. 
I'll keep uh, reminding everybody, but come check out uh, the live stream. I'm stoked. I've never done a live stream before, so Ben's going to have me on his. And then, yeah, I get to go and see Ben's new 300-gallon tank. So, guys, those are the two wonderful, great announcements that I have. And uh, so I'm going to leave you with the new logo. So go check out Teespring. Links in the description. Get you some swag. I'm looking forward to um, seeing those Jerry's Fish Room uh, T-shirts all over the place. Uh, just, again, so excited. Um, hopefully, just as a side note, I may get a second logo coming. Uh, there's another individual um, who is working on it, is supposed to send me one, and when I get that one worked out, we will have a couple of logos so we can get a couple of different styles of t-shirts and stuff going. So I'm excited. I'm stoked. I can't tell, I don't know if you can tell it, but uh, till next week, guys, keep loving the fish.